here is yes. your description of the Trump administration. You wrote this piece in Teen Vogue, which I guess you write for. Oh, which you and guess you I said... write for? Yes, that's not fake news. That's real news. I write for, you okay. guess? <laughs> oh, you guess, Tucker? You guess? That's really well, patronizing. I haven't, I haven't read Teen Vogue. Holy moly. I'm not a Teen Vogue well, you have in front of, your producers asked me if I wrote for Teen Vogue. You have my Teen Vogue article in front here's, of you. Here's I'm, what my you, name here's is Warren Duca, and, and I write for Teen Vogue. Got it. Here's what she wrote. Okay. The road ahead is a treacherous one. There are unprecedented amounts of ugliness to untangle, from deciding whether our president can be an admitted sexual predator to figuring out how to stop him from threatening the sovereignty of an entire religion. Yes. What does it mean to threaten the sovereignty of religion? What does that even mean? That means an entire agenda, a platform of, based on banning Muslims, which is still available on his website. How does that threaten the sovereignty of religion? That's moronic, Lauren. You're a writer. How does that threaten the sovereignty of it? Pardon me well, for taking what, how does, literally. Sorry, how does what threaten the sovereignty of it? How, Threatening to ban how does Muslims? Any, that threatens the sovereignty of it? Yes, that completely, that, that profiles based on the basis of religion and reduces people to their beliefs and dictates what they can and cannot publicly uh -huh. believe. That doesn't threaten the sovereignty of it. And the Shorty Award for Best Journalist presented by Muckrack goes to Lauren Duca. Oh my God, Lauren Duca. Lauren. matters right now. We need to all freaking, 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 be rigorously informed freaking, because without the truth, we have no foundation from which to resist. Freaking, uh, freaking, thank you. Freaking. <laughs>